Hey guys, it's Keith Arkenberg Farms. Today I'm out here on the southwest corner of my field. All my land behind me here. I'm going to be building a wind block, planting trees. Because as you can see behind me, I have no protection from the south. I also got this little hole here underneath the power line tower. I'm going to try to stick some underneath there too. Let me show you how I do it. Now to start off, I located my property pins. You can see that stake right back there in the center, right about there. That one was already located by the neighbor. And then over here on the other corner, that's out in the middle of the field, because basically I have a rectangle out here with the corner cut out of it, I found my other pin. For this one, I used plot maps, old surveys, and a metal detector. Found that, dug it up, sent me a corner post inside of it. From here, I lined up cones down the line. Kind of give me an idea of where to measure off of. And then I'm ready to start planting trees. Just make sure before you start planting anything that you find all your property pins and you don't put them on your neighbor's side. For planting, I ordered my trees from Kansas Forestry Service. I got those are in orders of 25, 50 sawtooth oak, 50 lilac, 25 northern oak, and 25 service berry. The sawtooth oaks grow really quick, so those will be in the back. Lilacs along the front with the service berries, and the northern red oaks in between them. Also got rock phosphate, because I know my land's really short on phosphate. I'll throw a little bit of that in each hole. I've got some root slurry here. What that is, mix it up in water, you get a consistency of that. I don't know what to describe that as. But it's basically diaper crystals. You dip the roots in them before you throw them in the hole. And I got a tape measure and my power drill with a bulb planter on the end. So I can quick and easily bore my holes out to throw my trees in. Now here's the trees themselves. They're bare root. They come tied in bundles here. The tag on them, what they are. Decent looking root mass on the bottom. That's also 25 trees. So I'll just go ahead and start marking them out of where they're going to go. I'm aiming for service berries. Oh, probably 9 to 18 foot or so. But they're going to be mixed in with the lilacs. So those are those here. And I've got 50 lilacs over 100 foot spacing. So I'm probably going to do one every 12 foot. Sawtooth oaks, probably same thing, 12 foot in the row behind. And then the red oaks in between, maybe every 20, no, yeah, 25 foot or so. Oh, we'll kind of just start working on it and see where we end up. Yeah, these come wrapped up in plastic. They were overnighted to me from the forestry. Ordered them Sunday. It's now Monday afternoon and they're here. After running the numbers a little bit more, here is the far southwest corner of my field. Like I said, the field's a big giant rectangle with a corner cut out of it. Along here is about 150 foot. And I'm going to go 10 foot back from the property line. And then I'm going to plant the lilacs on 5 foot spacing. I'll do two and five foot over from that, I'll do a service berry. And I'll just repeat that all the way down. So they're all spaced five foot apart. Then I'll go back another eight foot and do my red oaks. My red oaks are a tall tree. They take a long time to grow. So those being behind the lilacs should give them room to come up eventually and not get shaded out. And those will be eight foot spaced all the way across the line. Then from that, I'll go back another eight foot and I'll do a line of the sawtooth oaks, which are a really quick growing oak, in five years they'll be up to 20 foot tall. And I'll put those on eight foot spacing 
And then I'll come back and go another eight foot back and do another line of them eight foot apart staggered from where the originals were. That way this set will come up first, not be shaded out because north is this way. The sun will be coming from this angle. Then it'll give time for these to grow while these ones up front are growing. These ones are a little quicker, but they shouldn't shade out this line too badly. And hopefully the shade will actually encourage them to get taller a little bit quicker. And by doing this, I have three lines of trees, well actually four, which should give me a sufficient windbreak when the south is, wind is blowing at us. I'll also come over here on this section and then plant whatever I have extra just to kind of fill this in. It's not as much of a big deal. I mean, we get southwest winds that come in and they'll come into the field a little bit. So if I get more trees along here, all the better. Now I just use my drill and start boring holes. Now planting the trees themselves is pretty simple. A little bit of rock phosphate, just a little pinch or so. Down the bottom of the hole, tease the tree out. You got a pretty good root system on them. Dip them into your root slurry. Give it a little shake. Now the roots are all full of slurry. If you can kind of see that in there. Drop it down in your hole. Get it about where the crown was originally. Backfill it. Step it in. There you go, just work my way down. Now it's in the hole, I'll come back and water it in or hopefully it'll rain the next day or two. Now I just got 150 more of these little babies to go. I'm gonna try to do a time lapse, see how it turns out. Well, and just like that, I'm done. Nah, I'm just kidding. I got a long ways to go. That was about 12 trees out of the 150 I got, but I'm gonna keep working on it. Hope they'll be done by tomorrow or the next day. Well, I hope you all like what you saw here today. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank y'all, have a good day.